is um, if you guys can, if you can go ahead and mute your line, and then I will um, open it up for questions toward the end, so we can kind of talk about these kind of things. Um, so let me see. I'm doing this right. Okay. Um, so tonight, I just wanted to talk about all things. You know, when you're growing your team. How do you get your new coaches started off right? And if you guys are listening to this call, I know it's because you are my go-getter coaches that are in this to grow a business and you realize the importance of growing to your team. Um, growing your team is where your income is going to start to really significantly grow because you can only sell so many challenge packs every month. You know, I'm still three years in the business and I'm selling the same amount of challenge packs as I was from the beginning. And if that was all that it, you know, all my business was uh, relied on, my income would never be where it is today. So growing your team is so important if this is something that you want to do full time. And for some people, that's not necessarily the case. For some people, they're kind of in it for a hobby. They want to run a couple challenge groups here and there. They're not really in it to create a business. But for those of you whose why is big enough that you really want this to work, um, Growing your team and adding coaches is going to be so important. When I was a first newbie coach, I kind of realized this right off the bat, and I started actively growing my team from day one. Um, I primarily signed my coaches from my challenge groups because that's how I signed up. So I basically get all of my challengers in a group. I try to help them get amazing results, cheer them on along the way, and then encourage them to sign up to coach afterward because they've already done a challenge group. They kind of see what I do as a coach. They're getting results. People are asking them what they're doing. They're excited about it. They've completed a challenge group and it's kind of the perfect time for them to step into coaching. So for me, that's where I put my focus on finding coaches. I do still run help wanted ads on Facebook and post about the coaching opportunity. And I invite people to our glimpse into coaching um, groups every month or our what are coaching calls, depending on what we're doing. I do invite people to that, but I can tell you that all of my majority of my rock star coaches started with me in my challenge group. So when someone says, we had just kind of started talking about this actually before the call and I wasn't necessarily going to go over this, but it's a really good reminder. So when someone says they want to join your challenge group, one thing you can do to start getting some coaches on your team quickly, especially if you're trying to push for rank or um, you're kind of a new coach and you're just trying to get some coaches on your team just to kind of get the ball rolling. One thing you can do is actually get someone to sign up to coach when they purchase their challenge pack right off the bat. So if someone says, I want to join your challenge group, um, I want to buy this challenge pack, you say, okay, great. There's two ways for you to sign up. And I'll kind of read the script right now, but it is in the hard hitters page in the file section. And the name of the file is how to turn a challenge pack sale into a new coach right away. And I posted it back in November of, the, of 2015. So if you kind of scroll through the files and look for um, the date, it's November of 2015. And it's how to turn a challenge pack sale into a new coach right away. So what you can say is, okay, I'm so excited to get started with you on your journey. Here are your two options for enrollment. The sec second option just doesn't really make any sense, but here they are. Number one, when you sign up with a challenge pack, you have the ability to sign up as a coach, which is what I am. To become a coach, it's $40, but since you're purchasing a challenge pack, that $40 is waived. As a coach, you save 25% on all the Beachbody products and $30 on Shakeology alone every month. And you earn a 25% commission in case you inspire anyone along the way. It will cost $15 a month to be a coach, but again, the $30 a month saving on Shakeology alone makes it worth it. You will be plugged into my team page of over 500 other coaches who are all on the same mission as you to get healthy and fit. You can cancel all Shakeology and your coach account with a simple email if you need to. Option two, as a challenger, you just pay for your challenge pack and join one challenge group for 30 days. 
Like I said, it just makes sense to sign up as a coach. And you can simply cancel both Shakeology and coaching if you don't feel like it's the right option for you. I know 95% of my challengers continue to use Shakeology after the first 30 days because they love it so much. And I rarely have people who don't want to use it beyond the first 30 days. So which option would you like to get started with? It's so fun. Like, I love that because it literally makes someone feel stupid for not signing up to coach right away. <laughs> so um, that's a great way to get someone to jump in, sign up to coach right when they're buying a challenge, a challenge pack. That being said, if someone purchases that way and signs up to coach that way, your whole job from that point on <laughs> is going to be trying to encourage them to get results and become an actual active coach on your team. So you're going to want to try to switch them from becoming being a discount coach to someone that actively wants to grow a business and be on your team. So now let's say it's some like a brand new person. They decide they want to sign up or that they're interested in coaching. Hopefully at this point, if they're interested, you've either one shared a recording with them, a what is coaching call, a recording that we have, or you've invited them to our glimpse into coaching. So a what is coaching call is just a quick recording that um, someone in our upline has have done explaining the co coaching opportunity, the time commitment, the costs, the opportunity, the requirements, basically answering all the questions that somebody would have when they're getting started. I have a recording that I did, and I also have a couple others that I love. Um, so I can post those on the Hard Hitters page. I'm sure they're in there, but I can post them again because I know sometimes files kind of get lost in that big, long line of files that we have on there. Or you can invite them to our Glimpse into Coaching group. So we do a Glimpse into Coaching group every month um, toward the end of the month. It's all run through a private group on Facebook. So I run it live one day every month but I leave it open for the full month. So if you want throughout the month, you can always throw somebody in there that wants some more information about coaching. In the Glimpse into Coaching group, there's five different posts or six different posts that I post um, talking about answering basically the same types of questions. Um, it may be for someone that wants to hear from different people. I have five different videos from five different coaches. So different personalities, um, different points of view, um, bunch of information in there. So, um, that's another option. So once they decide, okay, I want to join your team. I'm ready. I'm all in. I normally encourage my coaches to sign up with a challenge pack if they haven't already so that they have a workout and Shakeology. And if they have never done a challenge group, the first thing I do is get them in my next challenge group because I want them to see how we run them. And I also invite, tell them to invite their friends. You know, you're going to, I tell them they're going to be starting a challenge group. They're going to be committed to this 30 day journey. They just signed up to coach. Why don't they try to invite some people to do it with them? Just tell them, Hey, I'm starting the 21 day fix and I would love for you to do it with me. So it kind of takes the pressure off of selling. It's more like right in the beginning, they are, um, just inviting their, their friends to do it with them, which is what we really want them to do as a coach anyway. We don't want them selling. We don't want them, you know, running out of the gate, just trying to sell products to their friends and family. So get them signed up. If they haven't done a challenge group, invite them to your next challenge group. Um, get them started with Shigology and with a workout program. So after all that's done and you have a coach signing up and they are ready to work the business, go all in, tell me more. So what I do with all of my coaches is I send them the same new coach email. And I always recommend that my coaches save that email and use that when they sign coaches on their team. They can switch up the wording um, to sound more like them, but they can use that as a template for sending to their coaches. And I'm gonna post the example of my new coach email on the hard hitters page, but it's super simple. And I'm just going to kind of go through exactly what it says. Um, so it says, Hey, so-and-so welcome to team hard hitters, my beach body team. I'm so excited for you. And I know you're going to do awesome. My main passion in this business is to help others see more for themselves and to reach their goals. So I'm ready to help you do just that. Just know that anything is possible and anyone can be successful in this business. Cause I am proof of that. So shoot for the stars. 
I attached a document called the About Me form, and I would love for you to fill it out and send it back to me. It's always nice to hear your why for wanting to do this business. As soon as you fill it out, I will, um, and listen to the 15 minute recording I've attached, I will set up a time to chat with you on the phone. So that's how I start my new coach email. And the reason I do that are for two reasons. I give them homework right off the bat. So I'm telling them they have to send me an about me form back. One of the reasons why I do that is I want to hear in the about me form why they want to become a coach. What excites them about becoming a coach? What do they hope to get from it? So I kind of get a feel for are they all in or is this just going to be a hobby for them? Or are they just looking more for the accountability with their fitness? So I kind of get a feel for where, what they want in this business. Also, if I don't know them very well, this is a great way for me to get to know them. Um, a lot of times they post their kids' names. They talk about their husbands. They talk about their jobs. This is a way for me to get to know somebody if I don't necessarily know them when they sign up on my team. And there have been a lot of coaches that have signed up with me that I didn't know um, before they signed up. So this is a great way for me to get to know them. Um, I also mentioned, and I'm going to go over this a little bit more, I mentioned a 15-minute recording that I post in the, in the um, email as well. This, um, again, I'm just giving them homework because I want them to prove to me that they deserve my time and deserve my time to get on, the, on a phone call and do a getting started right call. So same for you guys. Even if you're a new coach and you only have one or two coaches on your team, your time is valuable and the time that you're giving someone could be time that you're taking away from your family or you're taking away from growing your own business or taking away from you just relaxing on the couch. So your time is valuable. So if you're going to give someone time to do a getting started right call with them, you want them to prove to you that they're in it. So prove to you in a way by just sending back that about me form and listening to a recording a 15 minute recording just shows me that they're in this and that it's going to be valuable time for me to, to take to talk to them about growing their business. So back to the new coach email, I'll kind of go into more of what's on it. So then it goes on to say, here's a few basic but important things to get you started. One, I'm going to add you to my Facebook group. I tell them what their website is to send people to buy to them buy from them. I tell them their online office website. I tell them I'm going to add them to the 14 day new coach boot camp. For those of you that are new coaches, we run a 14 day new coach boot camp or new coach mentorship on the first Monday of every month. And you're more than welcome to add your coaches to that group. So it's always the first Monday of every month. And I always post the link of that in the hard hitters page. And I encourage you, if you have a new coach, not just to tell them to join the group, but you join the group and have them join the group. So when they're commenting on the posts or asking questions, you can be there answering those questions for them and leading them. You know, you're, the, you're their upline coach. So if I'm always the one answering the questions, then, um, you know, and they're not going to look to you as their leader. They might look to me. So you want from the beginning to show them that you're the one that they're supposed to come to and reach out to. And even if you are a new coach and you don't know all the questions that's, or all the answers, that's fine. You still want your coaches coming to, to you and then you can reach out to your upline or to the team pages and get the answers for them. Because it'd be good for you to know the answer. And again, you are the leader of your team. So you want your coaches coming to you. The next thing on my email is number five. Listen to this quick 15-minute recording that I did explaining the basics. So I can send uh, the link on to the, of this recording to you guys when I send you my new coach email template. But basically what this recording does is it breaks down the three main goals of a coach in their first month. So I talk about success club, the importance of hitting success club. I talk to them about hitting Emerald, what it means to be Emerald and why they should do it. And the third thing I talk about is setting the date for their first challenge group. 
Those are the first three goals that I have for my coaches when they first sign up. So hitting success club, becoming an Emerald coach and running their first challenge group. And I always offer to run the first challenge group with them because I know it can be super intimidating for a new coach to run their first challenge group. So I always offer to run the first one with them. And then after the first one, they're on their own and they need to step out and start running their own groups because they have all the tools that they need to run their own group. And then number six, I give them the hard hitters website with the password because it has a lot of um, information on there. And then I say, and that's it for now. I know you're going to rock this business. So excited you decided to join. And then there are six things that I attach to that email. So the first thing we already talked about, that's the about me form. Then I attach a, a frequently asked question sheet. This is a great sheet to give your new coaches because it goes over all those simple questions that a lot of times you're, you're spending a lot of time answering with your new coaches. So if you can um, send them that and they can look over it and hopefully get some of those silly questions answered so you're not wasting your time you know, answering them over and over for your new coaches. The other thing I attach is a coach online office overview. So our coach online office is, you know, basically your, your online office as a coach where you can see all your orders, your commissions, your success club points, everything. It can be super overwhelming for new coaches to know where to find anything. So this one page document kind of goes over the coach online office, where they can find things. I also tell them if they have questions in your coach online office, there's a start here tab and then like a tutorial. So they can always follow that too. The other thing I attach is the business quick start guide. This is supplied by Beachbody and it's amazing because it walks coaches through exactly what they need to do to get started. So it talks about their website. It talks about what they need to set up on their website. It talks about um, setting their goals as a new coach and it even has links so they can click on this form and it takes them to a Beachbody site to answer their questions about um, a certain part of the form. Super cool. The business quick start form. So that's that. And then I have a Beachbody workout summary. So again, being a new coach, maybe they've only done one workout and they don't know what the other workouts are. They don't know what equipment they require. They don't know what the workouts even do. So this workout sheet kind of breaks it down for them. So when they're talking to customers, they know, you know, if a customer says, hey, I really, really like cardio, you can kind of scan through this workout sheet and say, okay, these are the main cardio workouts. Um, that I can suggest for them. I also recommend if you're a new coach to go, you know, go on YouTube and search the Team Beachbody sponsored videos of all the workouts so that you're informed. So you're not always asking your upline coach like, oh, hey, this person, you know, only has 25 minutes and really likes cardio. What should I suggest for them? Like, no, you're the coach. You take control of your business. You need to do the research. You can't rely on your upline coach to answer all those questions for you. And then the last thing that I attach on that email is the new coach checklist. And I love the new coach checklist. Um, let me get to it real quick. Again, like all of these things, I'm just trying to make it so easy for my new coaches to answer a ton of their questions. So um, again, I go over their websites in there. I talk about the, the business quick start guide. I talk about the national wake up call. Um, I talk about the FAQ sheet that I attached. I talk about posting on social media and what they need to start doing with, with social media. Um, talk about setting goals, talk about hitting success club. Like literally I go over all the things that a new coach needs, needs to know when starting their business. So that's the new coach email. Tons and tons of information just kind of thrown at them. So they fill out the about me form and they listen to the recording and then they message me, they send me their form back. Then I set up a getting started right call. So I have two main goals when I get them on a getting started right call. So first thing is I just want to get to know them. I just want to talk to them. And the first question I always ask my new coaches is, 
all right, what, what is your goal for this business? Are you ready to jump all in and really go for it? Or are you going to kind of take your time? Like fill me in on what your plan is. And, you know, some of my coaches say, Hey, I'm just kind of in it for the discount right now. I'm going to see if I get better results and, you know, then maybe I'll jump in or, um, other of my coaches are like, I'm all in. I want, you know, what do I do? I want to get started. So that kind of helps me direct the rest of the conversation. Um, if they tell me they're trying to get more results before they become a coach, I try to encourage them just to go for it because their journey from in fitness will inspire more people than if they have a six, six pack, um, right away. So, um, I try to encourage them not to let anything hold them back. Um, Carly, let's see, do you send this email to your discount only coaches? Yes. I send it to everybody. Um, because I, and I, what I do with this, the beginning of those emails is I say, I know you're only in here for the discount, but just in case you ever decide to really coach, here's some more information for you. Um, because I also want them to have the information for their retail site where they can shop for themselves. Um, or if a friend or family wants to buy from them just randomly, you know, I want them to know what their retail site is. So I do send them all that information. Um, Okay, so back to the getting started right call. So my first question is their goal for the business. And then the second thing I talk about is they listen to the recording. If they're ready to go all in, all right, what are your success club goals for the month? Let's talk about Emerald. Do you have anyone that you think wants to get started on your team? I encourage them to hit Emerald by the, the last Wednesday of the month so that the following month they can start getting those free leads and commissions from Beachbody. Um, and I talk to them about their first challenge group, you know, kind of what's their goal for their first challenge group. Do they have people they think want or would be interested? Do they want to run their first challenge group with me or do they want to do it on their own? Um, and just kind of talk about all of those things and help them get started. After our getting started right call, I've gotten to know them. I know their goals. I've read their about me form. Like I feel really comfortable with where we're at. I introduce them to on the team page. So this is something you want to do too. Remember what it was like to be a new coach. And I don't know about you guys, but when my upline coach announced me on the team page for the first time, one, I didn't expect it. I had no idea that that was going to happen. And I loved feeling so welcomed and just seeing all the people like flood that picture and say, welcome, we're so excited for you. Just made me even more excited. Um, so I love it. I mean, our team page is so supportive of all of our new coaches. And I love seeing when a new coach is welcomed on our team page and just all of us like flooding the comment section and making that person feel so welcome because I remember what it was like to feel like that. So, so you want to announce them to the team and just kind of fill us in a little bit about that person, post a cute picture of them and, um, announce them so that they feel welcome and that kind of thing. If we do have a new coach boot camp or mentorship coming up, make sure that they get started in there. And like I said before, get yourself added too so you can kind of be a part of the process with them. And that's basically what I do to get my new coaches started. Now I will tell you when I first started, I didn't really set those goals with my coaches right away. Cause I was nervous. I was a new coach and I felt, I didn't feel like I knew enough about the business to be helping people set goals. But what I realized is I was doing my new coaches a disservice by not doing that with them because your coaches are looking to you to help them know what to even focus on. You know, they don't, they don't really know coming into this business, they're blind and they don't know what the main things they need to be focusing on are. And so that's why I try to break it down. Like these are your three goals for the month. If you're trying to grow this, this is what you need to focus on. And your coaches really want that from you. And they need that from you. They need to know where they should be spending their time and focus, especially as a new coach. The first couple months are so overwhelming with all of the information bombarded at them. And I remember just feeling so overwhelmed. But I just, my focus when my first month as a coach was success club because that's what my coach said I needed to hit. 
She said, if you want to grow this business, hit success club five. If you want this business to grow really fast, hit success club 10. Okay. That's what I'm going to focus on. And, um, since I had signed coaches out of my challenge group, I thought I'm going to try to get as many people in a challenge group as I can so that I can sign coaches on my team. And that's been my focus from day one till now. So just know that you're not, you need to help your coaches set goals and that you would be doing your coach a disservice by not helping them. Once I switched to this format and started working with my coaches like this, I had way more coaches hitting success club. I had way more coaches hitting Emerald and rank advancing past that. Um, and I had them getting way more people in their challenge group because I was talking to them about that and helping them run their first challenge group. Um, so just know if you're taking the time to do these steps, your coaches are going to be more successful. And in turn, your business is going to be more successful. Um, the last thing I want to touch on is um, after, and I talk a lot on my leaders page about this, but after my coaches rank advance, so let's say my new coach hits Emerald within the first week or two, they sign their first two coaches, which is a no brainer. A lot of coaches put feel like Emerald is this huge goal that's so unattainable. I mean, Emerald can happen in a day. Someone can sign two coaches on their team in a day if they want to. So a lot of times when I'm talking on my new coach, on my getting started right calls with my coaches, they hit Emerald in a week or two because I've, I've painted that picture for them and I've shown them how easy it is to hit Emerald. There's so many options to hit Emerald to make it happen quick. So after my coaches hit a rank advancement, I get them right back on the phone and I start talking to them about their next goal, their next rank advancement goal. Um, so if they hit Emerald, I set up a call with them. I set up a 20 minute power session. Again, realize that your time is valuable. You don't need to be on the phone for hours upon hours with people. A 20 minute power session. All right, let's set the goal, your next rank goal. Let's get you to sign two more coaches in the next couple weeks. Um, you know, let's, let's try to hit success club 10 and sign two new coaches for your next week. So you always want to be kind of directing them and painting the picture for what they can do in their business. Um, you're their biggest cheerleader and they're looking to you for direction. So, um, and one thing, I'm sorry, I forgot one last thing on the getting started right call. So I asked them their goals. I set them, help them set those goals. And then I let them ask questions. So no brainer, but I end the call by letting them ask any questions that they have. Um, so yeah, that's how I get my new coaches started. And, um, it's worked really well and it seems to kind of give people the basic information. So let me jump. I saw someone had a chat question. Do you introduce your discount coaches to or just working coaches? I introduce everybody. So I always like the discount coaches to be introduced and know that they're welcome to ask questions on the team page, even if it's a question about a workout or they're about Shakeology or about a three-day refresh they're doing. I want them to feel comfortable that they can use the team page as a resource. And hopefully it'll encourage them to um, maybe start coaching if they, you know, see everybody coaching and having so much fun and wanting to do it. All right, Megan just asked, what do you do if a discount coach is requested not to be announced? Just leave it? Yeah, just leave it. Yep. So did that help at all, guys? Did that kind of simplify the starting your coaches off? I think um, I'm going to attach my email, and I think that will help a lot, too, for you guys to actually see the documents that I include in the email. But... You're welcome, Megan. Do you guys have any questions? You guys look so serious tonight. Oh my goodness. Hey, can I, I, have, I have a question. Yes. So those, those coaches that are not, uh, that are discount coaches that um, haven't done the homework. So I've sent my email to a couple of people and they're like, oh yeah, thanks. And they just kind of leave it. Do you introduce introduce those people or do you just leave it alone? I normally introduce them and I introduce okay. them to someone that really loves the products and signed up for the discount, you know, something like yeah. that. Okay. Um, but at that point I do normally introduce them. Yeah. But I, okay. I probably wouldn't set up a getting started right call with someone like that. Got it. 
saw another question pop up. Carly asked, if a discount coach sells a challenge pack, do you let their challenge, their ch customers be in your challenge group? Um, I have before. Yes. If they start to take advantage of it where they're adding like three or four people every month to my challenge group, then we might have a conversation about that. But if it's one person here or there, yeah, why not? Because the cool thing, so like their customer connects with you and maybe they'll decide to sign up to coach or something, you know, because they had a great experience in your um, challenge group. So it could just end up helping you in the long run. So if they sign up to coach then, would they still, they still coach under the discount coach, but you would be mentoring them? Um, you know, if it's you, obviously, like... You know what I mean? I don't know. <laughs> would you say it kind of cut out? It would still benefit you by mentoring them through it, even if they're not under you. So I guess why not? Right. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Especially where I'm at now. Like I just need people. <laughs> Anything. Yeah. People. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Yep. Any other questions? And you never know if somebody like that could end up being a rock star. It's true. I'm just saying, is there someone on this call who is not my coach, but she's on my team and she's rocking the business and her coach is a discount coach. Hi, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. And I, I reach down to my downline a lot. If I see a rock star coach um, that I can help encourage and motivate, I'll totally reach down on my downline and help them and, you know, motivate them. Even I remember, um, so my upline coach's name is Jackie and then her upline coach's name is Brandy. For those of you that have been in the business for a while, Brandy's like the top, top coach. Like she's been top 10 and, um, kind of grew this powerhouse business really fast. And I remember when I was a newbie coach, you know, within the first six months of signing up, she actually took the time to message me and tell me like what a great job I was doing. And that high five from her meant so much. Not that my person, my upline coach, you know, wasn't cheering me on and motivating me, but to have that, you know, up upline coach reach down and encourage me, it helped so much. So don't be afraid if you have coaches under coaches that are doing a good job to just send them a message and say, you're awesome. Keep it up. Like, is there any, can I help you set goals? Like, are you, you know, you know, just be there for them and let them know that you're available. And if you guys are on this call, I'm available if you have questions or if you want to message me. <laughs> so, but if that's kind of it, do you guys have any other questions? I'm going to get post in so I can post all that stuff on the team page so you can take a look at it. And I hope it helps a little bit. Cal. Yeah. I, so my internet cut out for like a solid 10 minutes there. It was really annoying. Oh. Have you redefined your, um, email? Like I know I caught like the beginning when you were going over your email, what you send to people. Have you read? Cause you know, I've been with you for a year and I have your template template from like a year ago. Have you redefined that or is it pretty much the same thing? It might be a little bit different. The attachments might be different. Understandably. Yeah. Okay just wondering because I've tweaked it here and there obviously for my own purposes but I yeah. always I could do better make it better totally yeah I'll um like I said I'll post it and then you can kind of see I think if anything it's more the um you know what no it might be different Nance you might want to look at it it might be different because okay. I know I went through and tried to simplify it a lot and cut a lot of the information out because it used okay. to be even longer than it already is so awesome well thanks guys for jumping on I really appreciate it. Oh, you know what? Since you guys are on, quick question. Um, I'm trying to figure out the topic for our team call in a couple weeks. Is there anything that you guys need help with that would be helpful to do as a topic or get another coach to help um, talk about? Nothing? You guys are good? <laughs> I'm going to come up with it on my own. All right. Well, if you guys think of something, feel free to message me if you guys need help with something. And then I can try to get it on the next, if not the next team call, then on the team calls to make sure I'm helping you out. Hey, Kelly, I have a, 
I have a question. So this has come up for me in the last couple months it, or question, maybe topic for another call is how do you continue to follow people? When do you kind of let them either do their own thing or let them go? Or, I mean, I keep trying monthly, I'll go back to people who have been in a challenge group before and just, Hey, how are things going? But at some point you kind of, there's this distance. And so what do you, do you continue to follow up or do you just kind of let things die off? And there's a component of that that I think that, you know, people are either motivated or they're not. And so I've lost a couple of discount coaches because they couldn't stay motivated. I mean, I was, I was doing jumping jacks around them, trying to keep them motivated and I couldn't. And so, you know, it kind of goes back to how do you keep them engaged if they're not really engaged? Are you talking about co sense? coaches or ch customers? I think, I think both. I, you know what I'm trying to say here? So it's kind of twofold. It's those customers who have been challengers and they were doing well and they're kind of just out there now and doing their own thing. But mm -hmm. do you check back with them periodically and then what do you do with your coaches, those discount coaches that, you know, yeah. really weren't, are kind of just like challengers, but they're not doing much. Right. That makes sense. Yeah. yeah. So what I do with my customers is I have them in their, their first challenge group and I always invite them to join other ones if they want. Okay. Um, I also have had just like an ongoing accountability group, which is basically an unstructured challenge group that they can jump in and post their sweaty selfies still. And that's a place where I can advertise about upcoming challenge groups or check in with them that way. Um, if they don't really want to join the accountability group or join another challenge group, then they're kind of on their own, but I'm always there for them. Like they can always message me. But, I mean, your customer list is going to get so big, there's no way that you can yeah. check in with every single customer. You know that they will come to you if they need help again. Yes. Okay. Um, and then as far as coaches, I always, um, maybe once a quarter with my discount coaches or maybe every other month, I'll just send them a message and find out how they're doing, you know, and just remind them, you know, hey, if you ever want to get started or run a challenge group or be in a challenge group, let me know. Especially with your discount coaches, I always try to get them back into a challenge group because that's my chance to see them doing their workouts every day, hopefully get them results again, and then maybe encourage them to really start coaching. If I get my discount coaches agreeing to join a challenge, to be in a challenge group again, I always say, hey, do you guys have any friends that would want to be in it, um, in the challenge group? Let me know. So again, just kind of encouraging them to kind of try to start coaching, We're talking to people about the products, encouraging people to do a challenge group. Um, so that's kind of what I do with my discount coaches. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Next scheme call would like more insight from Margo. <laughs> I'll see if I can get her on there. She's awesome. I agree. I'll check, I'll check with her and see if she wants to do a team call. I always reach out to a lot of uh, the diamonds on our team. So she is a diamond. So she could be eligible to help with the team call if she wants to. So I'll talk to her. She is awesome. I have a question. Yeah. Um, for the lead program, I finally got, um, I'm eligible, I guess, for leads and I have a random customer on my thing and I think that she's probably from the lead program, but I just don't really know, like, should I just be emailing her and what I should say to her? Yeah. So this is what I, and I, I think there's a template on the, in the file section. If not, I will post it. The <laughs> template says what to say to a Beachbody customer or a BB lead, I think it says. So how you can tell if she is a, a lead from Beachbody is if you get to your coach online office. I wish I had it open so I could show you. Maybe I do. Hold on, let me see if I can get this open and I can actually show you specifically. Um, one second. Yeah, because I tried to pull up her, like, what she bought, and it just says nothing. So I wasn't sure, like, what program she's even doing. Or 
Okay, so I'll share my screen. So this is my coach online office. So down here on the left hand side is where it shows if you have new customers. So if you click on that, how you'll know it's a lead is over here. So if it says success club program or customer program, those ones are leads from Beachbody. If it says my site, that's someone that actually went to your website and purchased something. So that's normally someone that you've been having direct contact with. So normally what I do is I scroll over here to where it says team Beachbody order history. And then I click on their order. You guys can't see this, um, but it just popped up a new window and it says that this guy ordered Shakeology from me. Uh, Nicholas ordered Shakeology. So for Nicholas, I would send him a email and you have to send it that week. So this is something you want to check every Wednesday. If you're Emerald and above, you want to be checking for new customers every single Wednesday because then they clear out and you won't be able to see who your new customers are. So, you know, every Wednesday go in here, see what the order has, what they ordered. So for Nicholas, he just ordered Shakeology. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send him an email introducing myself as his coach. I'll send him my fitness page uh, website. Uh, which you don't have to do if you don't have a fitness page, but I like to give them some way to contact me on Facebook. Um, and then with someone that just bought Shakeology, I talk to them about mixing their shake and what they should mix it with. And I give them some of my favorite recipes. So this guy ordered vanilla Shakeology. So I would send him a couple of my favorite vanilla Shakeology recipes and talk to them about blending it, not just shaking it with water. Um, Cause especially with your Shakeology customers, you want them, mixing it up and really enjoying it and not just shaking it with water and thinking it's gross and returning it. Um, and then if it's someone that bought a, um, workout program, I talk to them about what workout program they, they ordered, you know, let them know I run monthly challenge groups if they ever need that extra accountability. Um, talk to them about Shakeology if they only bought a workout program. Um, but that's kind of what I do. And again, I'll post my template, um, in the hard hitters page so you can check it out. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. All right guys, everyone else doing good? Yeah, all right. If you guys think of any other questions or anything else comes up, you know where to find me and thank you guys so much for taking the time to jump on tonight. I really appreciate it. And Thank I'll you. talk to you guys in a couple of weeks. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Thanks, Kelly. You're welcome. Thank you.